Okay, today we're going to talk about pressure forming. This is a pressure form part. We started with the same single sheet of material that we're talking about in our other processes, but we pull this into a female mold. And then we get all of this texture you see is in the tool. And that means that we can make a part that has a lot more detail um, as opposed to traditional vacuum forming. Here, the customer needed a very tight recess for a label. He wants to be sure that the label fits exactly the same place every time. Uh, pressure forming uh, utilizes female tools and allows us to add texture to our tool. You get more of an injection molding look without the higher cost of an injection mold. Now, in the pressure forming process, the detail being on the front side, on the back side of the part is does not have the detail. As you see, it's not bad looking, but we don't have the detail on the back side. All the detail is on the front side of this part. We are able to pressure form lower volumes. Uh, it's very common for um, high-end enclosures, um, parts that you want to have a lot of detail and texture on. Uh, we can hold as much as five or six thousandths tolerances. That's very good. Uh, Ten to fifteen thousandths would be the normal in the process. Thermoforming takes an extruded sheet, anneals it to a zero stress state where it's just below its glass transition point, and then we thermoform it around a tool that's typically about 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We do vacuum forming, pressure forming, and twin sheet forming, as well as plastic fabrication and some secondary operations. Wall thicknesses go anywhere here from about 80 thousandths thick to 780 thousandths thick, almost one inch thick. 